today we're working on a 2003 Chevy 5.3 engine it's a Suburban the problem we're having is that we got a really crazy crazy topping in the engine uh, I think we're facing a lifter problem but we're about to find out so I want to make this video from zero all the way to the end of what we found out hope this will help somebody right I'll say it again it's got a crazy topping on top of the engine and it sounds terrible so <clears throat> we're gonna take it apart uh, we're just gonna try to go in the center of it taking the intake manifold out so hopefully we can get through to them uh, through there I right know we're gonna have to take the valve covers off to to get to the push rods and stuff but <clears throat> like to share how we do it so first we're gonna take the engine cover off all you gotta take is an 8 millimeter bolt right here take that out all you gotta do is lift it up and pull it out now second thing we gotta do is take that air conduct off if you wanna make it easier on you take the the box out too it's, it's you know kinda loose all it has is some clips in the bottom that holds it uh, flat screwdriver flat screwdriver then after we take this out we're going to start taking some wires off so hope I can share some of these out got that out the air filter box is out the air conduct is out we're going to start taking some wires off wires like the throttle body uh, <clears throat> everything is completely left pulled out all you gotta take out on this side of the engine is fuel injectors because uh, the coils <clears throat> they got separate and wire harness um, you see this big flow right there that flow it, it goes to the wire harness that flows all the coil it's like a coil pipe <coughs> wiring system. We'll take these two little hoses out. And um, you see these three bolts right here? They gotta come out in order for the big wiring harness to come out. So, pretty much clean up the whole intake manifold out and see if we can get to it. Hope we don't have to take the alternator off, but if we do, we'll take it. It only has two bolts holding it. So, We'll make it happen. <coughs> Next step is on the throttle body. There are two hoses coming to it. You see this little one? It's got a clamp right here. Right here. It's got a clamp. And the other one comes in right here you see it's got a clump right there and it also has got one under the throttle body take them two off and we are gonna take the fuel line off you see these two fuel lines coming into the intake the fuel rail gotta come out all you need to do that it's this tool this tool it's all you need two-sided fuel line tool now that you got all the <coughs> hoses out throttle body hoses out uh, all the wires off you can go ahead and take the intake bolts off you see there's one two three so there's five on, on this side and five on this side. Take them loose. And once you take them loose, you should be able to see, move the intake up and down. Alright, and from there, I mean, do your way out and see if we can get it out. The whole intake out. 
okay? But remember, that's not my problem, that's not our problem. We are facing something deeper than that. So at least we get the intake out. That was how to take the intake out. Now, I'm gonna keep on going and try to find any issues that we can see from here, like looking into the intake ports. So, <clears throat> checking a load the ports, you can see the valves, they're all good. So there's nothing to do with that right there. Let <clears throat> me check the old valves. I don't know if you can see it. But um, all of them are good the intake size. So next step, <clears throat> I'm going to take the, this cover off and uh, to open up the, the block from this side and see if we see something. Got all the 10 millimeter bolts holding this plate. Um, what we need to do is uh, you see the knock sensors in in these two holes there are two knock sensors all you need to to have or to use is a 22 millimeter socket uh, I'm gonna use a half inch drive see that 22 millimeter socket so take them out before we can take the plate off <clears throat> 